Hello everyone, welcome to another video about Create. Today we're going to be talking about mechanical crafters. In Create, there are a number of ways to automate different processes. In order to automate shaped crafting recipes, we need to use a device called a mechanical crafter. Additionally, there are a few items in vanilla Create that require mechanical crafters to be made. And if you're playing a mod pack, a mod pack will most likely add some more recipes to mechanical crafting. So let's dive into how we can mechanically craft. So first up to make mechanical crafters, you're going to need crafting table, brass casing and electron tubes. Now, it's important to get quite a few of these materials because this only makes three. And to craft something like a crushing wheel, you're going to need 21 mechanical crafters. In order to mechanically craft something, you're going to need to place your mechanical crafters in whatever layout is needed. This layout might be different depending on the recipe. For instance, a potato cannon is going to be this 2x5 grid. Well, it's not quite a grid, but an almost 2x5 grid, while the crushing wheels is going to be nearly a 5x5 five five grid. So the amount of Mechanical crafters you will need for an individual recipe will chain. You place your mechanical crafters like so, where each face is facing in the same direction, and they are connected to one another. Additionally, like many other things in the Create mod, you will need to supply some rotational energy. And you might think it's time to start crafting, but there's one issue. You see these almost like conveyor belt looking arrows between the mechanical crafters? These are very important. These will essentially combine the items together. And the important thing to remember with these is to for the crafting to be successful. They need to all converge onto one mechanical crafter. And they all need to converge onto a mechanical crafter that is on the edge of the block. For instance, if I try to rotate all these, which can be done with a wrench and have them all go to the center, like so. The crafting will fail. Because it will get stuck bouncing back and forth between the two things. So what you need to do is once again use a wrench to rotate the block. You need to have them all converge on a mechanical crafter that is on the edge of your crafting array, like this. So I want to craft a jukebox. So then, once you have all your crafters in place and rotated the correct way, you right click with an item on the square in the middle to put it an item in there. And once you have your entire grid filled out, it will start crafting. Ta-da! I crafted a jukebox. Let's do that a little bit slower. So they all converge. And eventually it makes jukebox and it will pop out. Now this should work for every shaped recipe in your mod pack. If I want to make furnaces I can do it using mechanical crafting. If I want to make jukeboxes I can do it using mechanical crafting. If I want to make a millstone I can do so using mechanical crafting. However if I want to make an eye of ender that will not be done through mechanical crafting because Create can use a mixer for shapeless crafting. But let's go back to the furnace. The furnace doesn't have anything in its middle slot. There's a couple ways we can get around this. We could simply not have a middle slot. Alternatively, you may fill in the center slot, apply a redstone signal to force the recipe to begin anyway. This will leave unfilled slots as empty slots. But you might run into an issue like this one. I want to make a bucket. The only issue is, my mechanical crafters are not connected together. So we have to put another mechanical crafter here. 
Now, like before, we could force it with a redstone signal. Or, if you're going to be doing a lot of crafting and you don't want to have a redstone clock going, you can use this device here. A crafter slot cover, which is made using brass nuggets. If you right-click it onto a slot, it fills it in as if it were an empty space in the recipe. So you can make things like a bucket. Furthermore, you can use it to craft items that cannot be crafted in a normal crafting table, like the Wand of Symmetry, which, as you can see, is too big for the crafting table. There we are, the Wand of Symmetry. What if you want to take your mechanical crafting a step further and automate it, just like everything else in the Create mod is geared around automation? Well, for that, we will have to come to the backside of our grid of mechanical crafters. Using a wrench, you'll see a little indicator pop up on the seam between crafters. If you click it, it merges them together. So if I click all of these, oops, not that one, and make something like this, what this means is these mechanical crafters' inventories are linked together. For us, that means if we automatically put something into any one of these sections, then it will fill up all of these sections on this side. And you can use any kind of automation device to put things into it. Like, let's say I want to automate furnaces. What I have done is I have linked all of these eight outer ones together, because that's where all the cobblestone goes. So if I put cobblestone in my top chest here, you'll look as it slowly fills up, but it ignores the middle one. And then it will begin mechanically crafting. Let's say I wish to automate oak fences, which has this recipe. And I need to fill the left two and the right two with planks and the middle two with sticks. So what I will do is I will put my array of hoppers on top like this. And if I come around the back, I will need to make sure to divide up my mechanical crafters. Like this where each column is connected together. Then I can put my oak planks, and now because of the connection, the oak planks going into this block here should only fill up this bottom block and this block here. Like so. Again with the sticks, and the other set of planks. There we are, oak fences. And this leads us on to the other side of the automation, the output. As you can see here, I simply have a chest right next to where this arrow, you see this arrow here, is pointing. And it's on the same row, almost, as the mechanical crafter itself. If you put any kind of inventory here, it should automatically put it into that inventory. From there, you can use it, you can take it out, put it on conveyor belts, and do whatever you need with it. This has been a short introduction to mechanical crafting in Create. It is a very important part of the Create mod for both automating shaped recipes and to craft advanced things like the giant crushing wheels. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. I hope that you found this useful, and I will see you next time. Furthermore, if you would like to see me using the Create Mod a lot more, I encourage you to check out the Artificer SMP live streams. Right now, we are doing the Rise of Humanity version of the pack, which includes much more fleshed out human factions, gunpowder weapons, among other things. Once again, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later.